Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Sean here, about to give you another Injustice God's Mugger video. And this video we do the Regime Killer Frost Challenge Battle 4 on Nightmare difficulty. One challenge currency, two energy per fight, and Bane must be on your team. Starting the match off is level 35, Elite 3, Batgirl, Lobo, and Elseworld Flash. Skip the match, it's 5,000 credits. Batgirl starts at one bar. Harder Deception is blocked for about 5,000. And a second one. That's a block for about 5,500. Doomsday is at one bar. Batgirl is down under half life. Let me take block for about 5,000. Now we're going to get off an Earthshake off the combo. It is enough to get rid of the flash, so Doom they go back to full life. Harder Deception hits for about 9,200. Now we're going to get off a Dead Blood, which is blocked. Still destroys Batgirl. And the second shot is going to connect on Lobo for about 14,000. Now we're going to get off an ultimate lift off on Lobo, and that is enough to get rid of him for the victory in the first fight. 3,201 XP, 520 credits. In the second matchup, we have Challenge Chaos going up against Red Sun Death Road, Red Sun Superman and Red Sun Solomon Grundy. Cards remain level 35 Elite 3. Skip the matches, 5,000 credits. Begin. Nightfall Bane comes in who doesn't have a whole lot of life. Pretty much useless, as you can see. So now Doomsday is in, again. Now we're going to get off the Earthshake off the combo. And Deathstroke is knocked out. Solomon Grundy comes in, as does my Solomon Grundy. Cleaver's been blocked for 54-38. Doomsday is one of the toughest people to knock out, considering he gains half his life back every knockout. Cleaver's been for 52-47. And another one for 54-38. Salmon Grundy does come in off the combo we get off the dead blood. Almost destroys Salmon Grundy and a second shot will finish him off. Flying Punch blocks for 5,000. And a second one blocks for 56 more times. And a third punch for 6,000. Salmon Grunny tags in before we get off the mass destruction. So we are going to get off the mass destruction, and Red Sun Superman is eliminated. Sixty thousand one hundred and fifty-five damage for the victory in the second fight. Three thousand two hundred and twenty-nine XP, five hundred and sixty credits. In the third matchup, we have Zod, Insurgency, Joker, and Doomsday. Gave me a level of thirty-six. Skip the matches, five thousand credits. Begin. <laughs> Doomsday is going to start off on Zod. Kryptonian Rifle connects with 9487, barely touching Doomsday's life. Right? And a Kryptonian Rifle for 5,000. So we're going to go for our first mass destruction, and Zod is eliminated.
Joker comes in next. We're gonna need Salmon Grim for a dead blood. Bang is blocked for 4,010. And a second bang. So we're up to two bars of summon ready. We're gonna go off a dead blood. And the Joker is gonna get massacred. Well, the second shot is gonna hit on Doom today. We wanna get him out in case of the Earth Shape. There it is, the 15,000. Doom they didn't regenerate his life back. So we're gonna go off an earth shake of our own, and Doomsday should be eliminated for the victory in the third fight. Three thousand two hundred fifty-six XP, six hundred credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Countdown going up against Regime Aquaman, Mortal Kombat, Scorpion, and Hawk Girl. Cards remain level thirty-six, Elite Three. Skip the matches, five thousand credits. Begin. So Aquaman beating away on Doomsday as I went to get a cope. Still a minute and 30 seconds left, and the bleeding goes off. So we're going to go off our first mass destruction, and Aquaman is eliminated. Scorpion comes in. We're going to get in Solomon Grundy. Keep mind, Scorpion is at two bars. Flip kick is blocked for about 5,000. A minute and eight seconds, plenty of time. We're gonna get in vain to eat the Hellfire if he does it. Some overdose and Bane's about to go down. There's the Hellfire. So we're gonna go off the Grave Digger and Mortal Kombat Scorpion is eliminated. Seventy thousand sixty-eight damage. So we're gonna get in. Doomsday who takes about forty thousand damage. Still thirty-eight seconds. Plenty of time to get a bar of power. And we're gonna go off the mass destruction. And Hawk Girl is eliminated. Thousand one hundred fifty-five damage for the victory in the fourth fight. Three thousand two hundred eighty-four XP, six hundred forty credits. In the fifth matchup, we have animated Harley Quinn, Batman, and Insurgency Joker. Cards remain level thirty-six, Elite Three. Skip the match is ten thousand credits. Again. <laughs> And a hammer slam is blocked for about 5,000. Keep in mind, Insurgency Joker gains 40% power generation and damage versus 20% for the other two. And Batman comes in next. Explosive Batarang blocked for about 2,500. And Earthshake is blocked, will almost take out Batman. Another explosive battery for about 5,000 as Doomsday stunned, but it didn't knock him out. Joker comes in on a bang for 8420 as Doomsday's on the rope, and a second bang, 8871. So we're going to go off another Earthshake on the Joker. And the last lap, 30,000 damage, so they're definitely up the damage on it, so it's actually useful now. Pretty much nullifying the health gain that Doomsday has. Hammer slam for about 5,000. 
And Harley Quinn is knocked out. Way of the bat. We're about 17,000. And we bash out Batman Doomsday goes back to full life for the victory in the fifth fight. 3,312 XP, 680 credits. So we're going to make our first roster change. We're going to put in the gold Bane. Bane. We're going to put in Regime Black, Black Adam. Adam. And we're going to put in normal Batman. Batman. Which actually might be a little challenging. We're actually going to put in Dark Side. In the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Chaos going up against Team Titan Cyborg, John Stewart Green Lantern, and Man of Steel Superman. Cards gain a level of 37 Elite Force. Skip the match is 10,000 credit. Keep in mind, Man of Steel Superman has 55,000 life, but with Batman, should still be knocked out with super moves, no problem. And John Stewart Green Lantern comes in next, as Cyborg regenerate. Oh, Batman also comes in. Batman's almost at two bars, as is John Stewart Green Lantern. So watch for the parallel nature. Darkseid comes back in. Now Bane's in for the first time. Turbine's back to 4332. And we're going to go off the Dark Knight, and John Stewart Green Lantern is eliminated as we have two more super moves available. I'm going to steal Superman coming in. And we're going to have to break the bat, even though it's Superman, and quickly get rid of him. As hopefully this does 55,000 damage. Yes, it does. Barely 55,000. Touchdown by Cyborg for about 18,000. And we're getting off the I Am Many Things, and Team Titan Cyborg is eliminated. Knock him out for the easy victory in the sixth fight. 333 XP, 8,720 credits. In the seventh matchup, we have Batman Containment Doomsday and Mortal Kombat Scorpion. Cards remain level 37 Elite Four. Skip the matches, 10,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> The Batman against Darkseid. Batman is going down quickly. Explosive Batarang for about 5,000. The trick to this will be using Darkseid's Fires of Apocalypse on Doomsday. That'll prop his massive fire damage. Assuming he doesn't block it. Not that it probably matters. As Containment Doomsday does come in, Ultimate lifts off to 5458. So we're getting off the first Dark Knight on Containment Doomsday, and that should put him at his first life. Evolutionary Rebirth does tick off 28,000 damage. And we're going to get Bane in. Explosive Batarang blocks about 2,800. And another Explosive Batarang connects for about 5,600. And we're going to get off a Lazarus Lockout, which should hit both Batman and somebody else. Yes, it does. Containment Doomsday comes back in. And the second shot is blocked. Conlet's death destroys Bane. Venom Tank Rage Slam is going to put him at his second life. And Batman comes back in. Ultimate lifts off to 6331. Now we're going to go away the bat. They should put Doomsday at his third life. 
very poorly aimed, however. Scorpion does come in, somewhere in Gothi, I have many things, and Mortal Kombat Scorpion is eliminated. The Containment Doomsday is in, now he's at his third life. And we bash him out from the combo for the victory in the seventh fight. 335 XP, 760 credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Dampening Field going up against Mana Steel Superman, Mana Steel General Zod, and 600 Wonder Woman. Gaining a level of 38 Elite Four, skip the matches 10,000 credits. I definitely feel the dampening field on this fight. The dark side's finally at one bar. Man of Steel Superman's almost at two. We're gonna get his vein for a minute. He's only at about a half bar. You don't want to get KO'd by a level 2 on Dark Side if you need his damage. Shield Toss blocked for 9,020. Can't expect the second one to be coming. Bane is at one bar. There's the Aegis Wrath for about 10,000. Bleed obviously doesn't do much, but the Venom Tank proc before we can get out. A Dark Side is at two bars, has quite a bit of life left. That combo only hits twice out of four times. Man of Steel General Zod is not winning. Shield Toss 6222, neither has Batman. So we're probably going to use Dark Side to get rid of Man of Steel Superman. Shield Toss 6562. And Man of Steel Superman comes back in. We're going to get in Batman. Ground Smash is blocked at 14489. And the Flying Punch blocked for 5833. And we're getting off away of the map, which appears to be blocked. Still should be enough to get rid of Superman. Yes, it is. Now we're at two bars with Fane. Lazarus locked down off the combo. It's going to connect, and it should be enough to get rid of 600 Wonder Woman. Yes, it is. So we're going to go off the I Am Many Things, and Man of Steel General Zod should be eliminated. One hundred sixteen thousand one hundred four damage for the victory in the eighth fight. Three hundred thirty-nine XP, eight hundred credits. In the ninth matchup, we have John Stewart, Green Lantern, Regime Black Adam, and Batman Returns Catwoman. Cards remain level thirty-eight, Elite Four. Skip the match is fifteen thousand credits. So we're seeing a bunch of new cards in these battles, which is pretty Again. cool. John Stewart Green Lantern not even doing half the damage Darkseid is capable of. And Black Adam comes in. Darkseid is at two and a half bars. Black Adam is blocked about 4,000. And we're going to off the I Am Many Things, and Black Adam is eliminated. That hits for over 100,000 damage. Batman returns Catwoman in. So we're going to get his Bane, who's at a bar and a half. Keep in mind, if you knock people out, the emergency barrier will not tick away, obviously. That's the secret for dealing with John Stewart Green Lantern easier. That can prove to be very useful. And a parallel nature on base. Since John Stewart came in, we're going to go off the Lazarus Lockout. And he does block that, but it might be enough to get rid of him. Emergency Barrier does tick. So we're going to get in Batman. And we do knock him out. 
Cat Claws on Batman. And we're going to go off the Dark Knight and Batman Returns Catwoman is eliminated. Twenty-eight thousand eighty-nine damage for the victory in the ninth fight. Three hundred and forty-one XP, eight hundred and forty credits. And we have three energy cards. In the tenth matchup, we have Challenge Radiation going up against Crypto Lex Luthor, Batgirl, and Regime Aquaman. Gaining a level of 39, skip the matches 15,000 credits. Begin. Power drain for about 1,800. And that radiation takes for a lot of damage on Dark Side. Only 529 on Bane. So we're actually going to leave Bane in for a little while if we can help it. Especially not Lex Luthor is out. Batman hits one bar. Art of Deception again blocked. That's about 5,200. Art of Deception again blocked. And Bane's starting to get down on life. So we're going to go for the Lazarus Lockdown off the combo. And that does succeed, but it might not be enough to get rid of Batgirl with 30% life. No, it does not. But that does prompt Aquaman, and Trident Rush will get rid of Bane. Now we're going to go off the I Am Many Things, and Regime Aquaman is eliminated. Lex Luthor coming in. We're going to wait a minute before we actually use our super move on Batman. Power Drain on Dark Side. He's starting to get down on life. Batman return or er, Batgirl comes in. And another Art of Deception. That one's going to hurt. And it hits for about 13,000. So we're going to go off the Omega Blast on Batgirl and get rid of her. Third shot will hit on Crypto Lex Luthor. So off the slow combo, we're going to go off the Dark Knight. And Crypto Lex Luthor is eliminated. Twenty-eight thousand eighty-nine damage for the victory in the 10th fight. 345 XP. 880 credits. Now we're going to have to make our second roster change. We're going to put in Regime Bane. We're going to put in 600 Wonder Woman Wonder and Woman. Regime Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. In the 11th matchup, we have New 52 Nightwing, Mortal Kombat Scorpion, and Batman. Cards are still level 39 Elite 4. Skip the match, it's 15,000 credits. Begin. Just under one woman's at two bars. I'm gonna get a regime bane to take the power bane. It'll also be a lone bird. There it is. So we're going to go off the Justice Javelin, and New 52 Nightwing is eliminated. Seventy-three thousand six hundred one. Mortal Kombat Scorpion comes in. We're going to get in Regime Wonder Woman to counter that. that. Just over two bars. Now we're going to go off a second Justice Javelin, and Mortal Kombat Scorpion is eliminated. Sixty-eight thousand four hundred four. Batman 
Those are explosive batteries. We're gonna get back in 600 Wonder Woman. It's not that damage. Explosive battery is 7,000. And that's another one. We're about 3,300. So we're in up our third Justice Javelin, and Batman is eliminated. Seventy-three thousand six hundred and one damage for the victory in the eleventh fight. Three thousand four hundred and seventy-seven XP, nine hundred and twenty credits. In the twelfth matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration going up against Martian Manhunter, Elseworld Flash, and Regime Superman. Cards gain a level of forty Elite Four. Skip the matches, fifteen thousand credits. Begin. There's a fairly fast regeneration. Keep in mind, Martian Manhunter can power drain off the combo. You can also stun. Mental damage is a worst, least of the three words. Phase assault for about 6,000. With 600 Wonder Woman at two bars, we're actually going to get in Regime Bane to ensure that we get rid of him. Phase assault is blocked for 5,000. And we get off the Justice Javelin, and Martian Manhunter is eliminated. We're going to get in with Moon Wonder Woman. Heat Vision on her for about 23,000, as they did nerf the damage quite a bit. And we're going to off our second Justice Javelin, and Red Regime Superman is eliminated. Eight thousand four hundred four. Wonder Woman's at one bar, fastest man alive. Does quite a bit of damage. Green Wonder Woman's at two bars. And we're off another Justice Javelin, and Elseworld Flash is eliminated. Eight thousand four hundred and four damage for the victory in the twelfth fight. Three thousand five hundred and five XP, one thousand four hundred and forty credits. So the regime Killer Frost Challenge Battle Four on Nightmare difficulty is completed. And if you liked this video, please give it a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, add it as a favorite. Check out my other Injustice Gods Among Us videos, my playlist, my Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood channel. And the Silver Booster Pack number 42 is up next. Have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!